What's up everybody? Another week, another dollar. Today is Sunday, May 17. I hope everybody's enjoying the weekend as we get ready to kick off what should be another eventful week on Wall Street. So let's jump right into things. These are the top five things to know this week. Kicking things off with number one, renewed trade tensions between the United States and China will be at the forefront of investors' minds in the coming days. After relations between the two economic superpowers took a turn for the worse last week, in a worrying development, the Trump administration on Friday moved to block global chip sales from blacklisted Chinese telecoms equipment company Huawei Technologies. That prompted Beijing to respond by saying it was ready to retaliate against Washington by imposing their own countermeasures and restrictions against U.S. companies. Uh, so keep your eyes on this space in the coming days. The last thing this market needs is for this to turn into another full-blown trade war between the U.S. and China. On to number two, coronavirus related headlines are also expected to matter to markets in the coming days as we await indications that state reopenings are helping to stem the decline uh, in the ec in economic activity. At this point, nearly all 50 states have resumed some level of economic activity. However, public health officials have warned that doing so could spark a second wave of COVID-19 infections. As such, we'll focus on infection rates in states that have already been reopened for at least a week, such as Texas and Georgia. We'll also monitor any headlines regarding more progress on the medical front as the search for a vaccine or cure uh, continue. If we do get any positive headlines on that front, expect the market to shoot higher in the days ahead. On to number three, investor focus will also be on Federal Reserve Chairman Jay Powell in the coming days as he is scheduled to appear before the Senate Banking Committee along with Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin on Tuesday. The two are expected to provide an update on the government's multi-trillion dollar stimulus programs to help the economy and markets get through the coronavirus crisis. An interview with Jerome Powell is also scheduled to air on 60 Minutes on CBS on Sunday night. So keep your eyes on that appearance if perhaps the Fed chair will have any new insight on the economy as well as the need for further stimulus measures, including the possibility of taking interest rates into negative territory in the months ahead. On to number four on the economic calendar, we get key housing data in the coming week, which may reveal how the real estate market fared in April. Housing starts are due on Tuesday, followed by a report on existing home sales on Thursday. Weekly jobless claims due on Thursday will also be in focus with nearly 36 million claims uh, filed in just eight weeks. Economists expect this week's report to show another 2.4 million Americans filing for first-time jobless claims in the week ended May 16. And finally, in earnings. Earnings season is winding down, but we do get reports from a number of big name retailers in the coming days. Walmart and Home Depot kick things off on Tuesday. Target and Lowe then are then due up on Wednesday. Macy's, TJX Companies, and Best Buy follow on Thursday, with Foot Locker wrapping things up on Friday. Other notable names reporting results this week include NVIDIA, Alibaba, and Take-Two Interactive. So with that being said, a lot on the uh, agenda for the coming week, trade headlines, uh, coronavirus headlines, data, earnings, and appearance from a number of central bankers with Fed Chair Powell leading the charge. So that's it for me for uh, today. May the trading gods be with you and have a good one, everybody. Stay safe and stay healthy.